What if I told you life is a beautiful moment? Hey guys, so I'm doing a story time on how my boyfriend cheated on me. Well, how you cheated on me and took my designer shoes. And I know y'all probably tired of hearing the same story, but I decided I want to give it to a bigger platform and a bigger audience. So I want to get into how y'all already know how I do. I come, I get in love with boys real quick. Um, yeah, as y'all know, y'all see my history with you know the biggest clock chaser of the United States of America. You see how that happened? How I let him finesse me playing my face, and you see how that happened. So I was dealing with this guy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this guy was cool. Like we actually grew up with each other. And I was dealing with this guy, and we was having a good time. I never thought in a million years that he'll steal from me. And not only steal from me, but cheat on me. So, you know, I met this guy off this app. It's, I met this guy off this app. You know, it's like a little dating app. And we was talking and texting and stuff like that. And I was like, I remember you. And he was like, I remember you too. And I was like, oh, so you go that way? He was like, nah, I'm, you know, I'm Trey. I'm DL. And I'm like, you DL? You know what I'm saying? He like... He be like, yeah, I'm the air, but you know, but I can still fuck with you and stuff like that. And I said, you know what? All right, let's do it. So we decided that we was gonna be a couple, whatever, so whatever. I was letting him. He had like, I think he got like three kids. He got his baby mama, but he was staying with me. But his, so he used to bring his daughter over in my house. I think he brought one. Of his, he just brought one of his kids over here. He brought one of his kids over here, and we were just chilling and stuff like that. He used to spend nights. So I like, I know his child or whatever. And so we would spend a night and stuff like that. He spend a night or whatever. And so like, in this phase. Right, I I know him, but I'm you know I'm thinking like he's not like that. He don't steal from me. He ain't a thief. He don't do that stuff. So I'm dealing with this other nigga. You know, at that time I was on my three or four shit. Like I'm dealing with multiple niggas. Like I'm not saying I open my legs up here for everybody, but I'm just saying I'm dealing with multiple niggas. Um, you know what I'm saying I got so I got niggas coming in and out of my house. You know what I'm saying they find me up like cause I'm I'm a weed head. You know I like to smoke. So any nigga wanna pull up, they gonna we gonna smoke. We ain't, I ain't got I ain't got a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a lady first. You know, I'm a lady. Ladies don't go out here fucking for free. You know what I'm saying? So we'll smoke me down or whatever. We'll talk, we we'll have fun, and stuff like that, whatever, whatever, whatever. Go on my business. So at this point, my shoes start disappearing. My shoes like really start disappearing. So I'm like, what the fuck my shoes at? I'm looking around like, what the fuck my shoes at? Why the fuck my shoes all disappearing and shit? So girl, I'm just, I'm, I'm not paying attention. I'm gonna be real with y'all, I'm not paying attention. So like, Every time he come over here, a shoe get disappeared. A shoe get disappeared. A shoe get disappeared. But I'm not paying attention because I really don't. Because I'm not. Because I only wear one pair of shoes. I wear these. Let me show you. I wear these shoes. So if you know these shoes, I wear these shoes. So like. <laughs> I like I really go outside with just my crowd, so I really don't be like really dressed up in designer shoes, my designer shoes, or dressed up in my shoes because I like my crowd. Like them, you know, you, you know, you got that one pair of shoes that you really feel comfortable with. Like, bitch, these my shoes I feel comfortable with, bitch. I like, bitch, I can wear them with anything. I can just wipe them down, bitch, bite a little dirt off on, boo, 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 and go out the door with it. I'll be gone, and I'll be up by my business. You know what I'm saying? Unless I'm going, if I'm going out to a restaurant or going out to the club or something, I wear my designer shoes or something. Like that. So moving along, so I'm just going to my closet. So it's this particular day. It's my homegirl birthday, and I'm like, you know, I'm wearing my red Versace shoes. I'm wearing with this person, this, this particular outfit that I got in my head. I'm going to wear, you know how you got something in your head you think you're going to wear. So I go in my house. I'm looking around. I'm like, where the fuck my shoes at? I'm like, because at this point, I'm thinking, I'm, girl, I ain't trusting nobody. I'm like, I'm thinking my cousin stole my shoes. I'm thinking my brother came to my house, stole my shoes. Thinking my friend stole my shoes. Thinking my nigga stole my shoes. I'm thinking everybody stealing my shoes. So I'm like, where the fuck my shoes at? So I'm throwing shit around. I'm throwing shit like, you know how you, you know how you, come on now. You know how you looking for some shit and you just start throwing shit. I'm throwing shit like, where the fuck my shit? Where the fuck my shit? Where the fuck my shit? I'm calling, I'm calling everybody. I'm calling everybody. I'm like, hey, did y'all see my shoe? Did y'all see my shoe? Did y'all see my shoe? They like, nah, what the fuck you talking about? You tripping, you tripping, time you tripping. We don't do that shit like that. I'm like, somebody got my motherfucking shoe. My shoe just don't walk out of my house like that. I said, you know what? For now on, none of my come to my house. Ain't nobody come to my house. Ain't nobody walk to my house. None of that, because I don't trust nobody. So I let that slide. I went and bought me some off whites. I went and walked and bought me some off whites because I, I made some money on Instagram because that's when I was big. And I went and made me, I made like $500. I remember that day, I made like $500 off of Instagram because I told him that. The boy stole my shoes. Somebody stole my shoes. So I made five hundred dollars and went to, um went to off white. I mean went to name it and bought me an off white shoes, some off white shoes. Um, so so I'm like so I'm like you know what? I'm like my Versace gone. So what the fuck my other shoes at? So I'm so I'm I'm like okay. I started looking for my Alexander McQueen, my Bellies, all my shoes gone. So I'm testing a nigga. I'm like hey, I'm like hey, have you seen my shoes or whatever? I'm like have you seen my shoes? He was like, nah, I ain't seen your shoe. 
What the fuck you trying me for? I don't do, I don't steal. I've been around you how long? I don't steal. I don't gotta steal for you. I don't gotta steal for you. So I'm testing the other nigga because remind you the night that my shit got stolen, the other nigga was at my house too. I let the other nigga came to my house. So the shit, so to me, he been stole my shit like a week ago because the, the other nigga came to my house. So I test the other nigga. I said, hey, what's, I said, hey, you got my shoes. He was like, nah, what you like, what you talking about? I was like, yeah, I see you on my camera. I'm lying, but I, I see him on my camera, but I'm lying saying I, I'm trying to try to see he's gonna tell himself. I'm like, you got my shoes. Where my shoes at? Where my shoes at? I see you on the camera with my shoes at? Where my shoes at? He like, I ain't got your motherfucking shoes. You trip, you trip. And don't call my phone with that shit. I'm like, yes, you do got my shoes. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that this nigga got it. The whole time, I'm thinking that this nigga got it. The other motherfucking nigga got it. And how I knew about the other nigga got it? Because guess what? I go on motherfucking um, Instagram. I follow the nigga page who, been, who I've been knowing for the longest. I follow his page. He didn't follow me back until I went to Miami. I flew to Miami for my cousin's birthday. So when I flew to Miami for my cousin's birthday, I was on his Instagram. I was, it was like at 5 o'clock in the morning. I was just on his Instagram. He followed me back. And I looked at his page. I said... That's my shirt. I'm going up and down. Them my pants. Go down some more. Them my shoes. So I test him. I say, you junky ass nigga. Why would you steal my shoes for? Why would you steal my shoes? You could have just asked. I would have just let you wear them. You had to steal my shoes. Steal my shoes. So he started laughing. I'm like, he was like, bitch, stop playing with me. If I, if I, you know, if I, you know, do some things. I said, you ain't gonna do a motherfucking thing, pussy. You know, I was that, that right there. I just went in. I just started going in. So girl, the whole time, the whole time. He stole from me. I stopped talking to him because I was like, I hate a stick. I hate a thief. I, one of my biggest pet peeves, I hate a thief and I hate a liar. Girl, two months later, girl, I decided I want to give that with him. Girl, I, I fucked up. I fucked up, y'all. I fucked up. I decided I want to give that with him. Thought it was going to be good. Thought I was going to have a good ass time. Thought it was going to be imagination. Thought all this thing was going to thought he changed because how he was texting me saying he changed. He don't steal no more. He don't do this. He don't do that. He don't do this. He's a good man. And at this point, I thought he was, I thought she was, gonna, I thought he was going to pop up and say, I'm a good man, Savannah. I'm a good man. I thought he was going to say that because, bitch, at this point, I ain't know what was going on. I ain't know what was going on. So I took him back. Cause he got some good, he got some good, he got some good man beef. And ladies, you know what I'm talking about. You know them mans who got them good man brief. You know it be hard to let them go. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It be hard to let them mans go. Y'all sit up here and say, oh, I let them go real quick. Girl, let's stop lying. It be hard to let these men go who got them good, you know, down there, downstairs, got that big old, you know, what's up. And they know how to make that motherfucker rind it up, rope it up, turk it up, dance it up. They know how to make that motherfucker rind, right? You know what I'm talking about. So I let him, I let him come back over my house, whatever, you know, stuff like that. The nigga started cheating on me. He started cheating. So he went from stealing to cheating. So he was like, he was like, um, uh, baby. He went from stealing to cheating. So I'm like, hey, bro. I'm like, hey, hey, I, 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 if I knew you were going to do all this, I would never take you back. You went from cheat. You went from stealing to cheating. How the hell that work? That's too, that, that's too, like, you really cheating on me. Like, I'm a good person, y'all. Like, I'm really a good fucking person. And I feel like people play with me so much because I'm so fucking nice with in my when I'm in a relationship. I'm real nice. Now, I might come on here as, like, an evil person. Like, oh, y'all might think I'm evil as fuck. But in real life, I'm I'm really a nice person. And, I, and people take advantage of me. And so, I'm like, I'm really heartbroken because I really actually like this boy. And, like, I really was in love with this boy. And he already stole from me. And when he stole from me, it really broke my heart. But I still took him back because I really was in love with him. But now he cheat on me. And, that, and that not only he cheat on me with a man, he cheat on me back with his baby mama. So I'm like, you used me. Like, I'm in my mind like, you used me. Like, I ain't use you, bitch. Bitch, I, you know what I'm saying? Da, 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 I ain't use you. I ain't use you. You just, you just, you believe what you want to believe. I'm like, I don't believe shit. I believe what you tell me. What the fuck is you talking about? You told me this shit. I'm going off of what you telling me. I'm going off of what you telling me. You telling me you're not with your baby mama no more. You want to be with me. But then you turn back around. You want to be with your baby mama. Like, I'm not in, I'm not finna play jumping the loop with nobody, baby mama. Because at the end of the day, either you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to be able to take care of the kids and be with the baby mama, or you're going to be with me. We're not going to be playing double dutch with the dick. Because in, in, in a minute, it's going to start getting serious and somebody's going to start going to the hospital and it ain't going to be me. Because when it's about dick, it's serious. I don't get dick like that. So when, when it's, when it's, when it's mean something, it really means something. Dick don't come that easy in my life. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it like that. So when I get it, that's mine. I deserve it. You're not going to play with me and think you're going to hump me and then hold on over there and hump her and then come on back over here and hump me like you playing house. We're not doing that. You're going to be a father, take care of your kids, be with your baby mama. So moving along, he decided he won't be with his baby mama. And I'm over here. Lonely. 
Sometimes I think about, damn, I should have just did what he told me to do and shut the fuck up. But then I realize I got addicted. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got love for myself. But damn, should I just let him cheat on me? Because it's just like, I don't know. I already go through depression. And then I feel like these boys be playing with me. Like, sometimes I feel like I'm already ugly. And I feel like people just be playing with me just to play with me just to see how I react. And I don't, I, my heart be so loved because people really play with me. And I'm just tired of being played with. I'm tired of being heartbroken. I'm tired. I put too much into these relationships for me to be leaving with a heartbroken. I know it's supposed to be a story time, but my feelings still be involved and I'm still hurt about this shit because I really actually genuinely love this boy and I feel like he didn't love me the way I loved him and I'm tired of giving my love to people and I don't get that and, be, and get that back in return. So I hope when y'all see this video that y'all honestly get how I feel and that y'all understand that where I'm coming from because I know a lot of y'all been through a heartbroken, a lot of y'all been through niggas cheating on y'all, a lot of y'all been through people having babies on y'all. I know y'all been through what I've been through. So always remember to love yourself first. You know what I'm saying? We got to stop putting people before ourselves because when we put people before ourselves, when they hurt our heart, then we go through the pressure and we go back, sit back, you know. So make sure you love yourself first before you want to love on somebody else. And if y'all like this story time, if y'all want me to keep doing this story time, I definitely would do it. I would love to do story time more and more and more. Only reason why this story time like 10 minutes, I'm going 11 minutes or 12 minutes, I don't know how many minutes it's going to be, is because I really want y'all to understand. I want to be fast with it so that y'all can be able to hear what's going on with this story time. And I want y'all to know that I honestly love all y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video if y'all could. Um, if y'all like this, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Also, follow me on all my platforms at Tommy the Gossip on TikTok, Instagram, Tommy the Gossip 2.0. Also, on Facebook, Tommy the Gossip. I love y'all. Thank y'all for joining. Thank y'all for watching this YouTube. I am back. I am dropping bangers every week. So, every week, you might get a story time. You might get a prank. You might get something. It's just going to be different things every week. I love y'all. And make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all follow. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all subscribe. And on that note, good night. Bye. Mwah.